it's funny to watch some people play Elden Ring in like the exact opposite way I would play the game. There's no way I could throw myself at something for like seven hours with the same strategy and just be like, you know, this is it. Like, I'm going to do it. That's exactly how backseaters think. Yeah, but I don't go into the stream and be like, hey, leave, you fucking idiot. Get out of here. Go somewhere else. You know, like, I, that's not what I do. I just watch it and I just laugh. I'm like, oh, my God. When it comes to fighting games, people will will check other people about the proper ways to play the game and enjoy the game and and kind of entangle with the game and all that kind of stuff. But Elden Ring to me as a fighting game fan has been so fun to watch. I'm sure a lot of you are this way too, where like the amount of people who are like, you are not allowed, if you use magic and if you use summons or you don't do this, then you are playing the game wrong. It is all wrong. I have seen like, if you go to any of the places where people talk about the game, like the Reddits, YouTube comments, articles on the internet, everybody is just like, this is the cheesy, easy way to play the game. You're not a real gamer if you do this, 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 and this. You gotta beat the game, strength only, no items, final destination. It's like some real boomer ideology. I love it. It's great because it, it is a lot, to me, it reminds me of fighting games and all kinds of other multiplayer games where like, if you play some kind of way, people are not, they do not like it if you play the game their way. And it doesn't matter if the game is primarily single player or if the game is multiplayer or however it is, right? There's always going to be somebody who's really pissed about the way you play the game or not happy. And they're going to be like, you are not doing it right. This is not the right way to play the game. If you're sitting over there shooting a fucking Iron Man Unibeam across the screen and just killing the boss, you're not doing it right. You have to be naked with a great sword, two great swords and fighting Radon and beating his ass to death, you know, on foot. I left that horse at home. I don't need him. Daigo is a fireball spammer. He cheats. Cheating with Sonic booms. I could, if that guy didn't cheat, I could beat him any day now. It's extra bad in multiplayer games, right? Obviously, because you beat them and they don't like it. They're like, you beat me, but you're wrong. You either are using something too cheap or you're doing something I don't like and I hate you. Uh, you're not cool and you should use something skillful like me insert my thing here is skillful insert your thing here is for scrubs you know i was like looking up something about uh the weapon i was using right it's a very popular weapon the moon veil i was like okay let me see when the scaling changes and all the comments on the weapon on the wiki are like this weapon is everywhere in pvp fuck all the moon veil spamming noobs who are using this weapon i hate you this weapon is unskilled like it takes no skill to use it's like a great reminder when it comes to fighting games or whatever other multiplayer game you play you're like oh yeah i should just do whatever i like whatever's good or whatever's effective or whatever i like i should just do it because people get so mad about anything you do it doesn't matter what it is maybe you don't want to play the most optimal but you do like a bunch of stuff that's really fun and you enjoy it that's great maybe you want to play the game in the most like correct way and you're trying to like improve at it and that's cool too maybe you just want to do like haha funny go burr and you're okay with that play style that's also totally okay but like it fills me with such joy to read people so mad at other people having a great time playing the game you know what i mean when you're pissed about somebody else's game like what are you gonna do you're gonna hack into their save like what are you gonna do about it you're that mad about somebody else's game that shit is sick it's so funny all the comments are so they are so pissed try invading and you'll know why the moon veil is for scrubs i'll tell you another secret the pvp is for scrubs damn got him if the weapon is absurdly good in pvp then you should probably use it because it's good for killing people you ever thought about that imagine like the, your your king is standing on the front line a bet ready to charge into battle and he just takes off all his armor and takes off all his clothes and he's just wielding like a like one sword and you're like sire why would you not where's your armor where is you know where's your lance from horseback i don't understand and he's like today you'll learn that those things are for scrubby Okay, and I'm gonna charge the front line like a man and he just gets hit in the neck by an arrow and he dies. He doesn't have any armor and you're like, well, what an idiot. <laughs> no dodge roll. He has light roll and he still got hit by the arrow. What an idiot. At least keep moving and grooving. Do a fucking ash of war to stomp on the ground and do AOE. I hear actually, I'm hearing the rumblings that there's an even more broken thing than all the magic stuff, which is the this ice stomp thing. Everybody's complaining about this. I was reading the wiki and dying laughing. They're like, this is too easy. I had to go and unequip this because it was too 
broken and it made the game too easy. I had to unequip my own skill because it made the game too easy. That's true. I was too good. I had to purposely delay all my reactions by 10 MS because my reaction time is too good. Playing with 20 pound weights on your arms? Yeah. To be fair, Mario 64's camera actually doesn't exist. Like the camera in Mario 64 is maybe the worst camera ever. It's also like one of the first, right? So it gets a pass maybe because of that. But boy, it's sick for speedruns, not casual gameplay. Damn, my, maybe that's the truth. Maybe I'm the guy on the wiki talking about the Mario camera and it's actually top tier for speedrunners. I don't think so, because I see them even pissed about it.